and today I'm going to do a video of my favourite things of last month. I picked around 10 items and there's some hair stuff, makeup stuff and bits and bobs but um, I thought I would try doing one of these videos and please let me know your thoughts on if you want to see more of these kind of things. Let's start off with hair things. I have shot some closer um, video of this which I will I'm sure we'll start playing now, um, just so you can see the items clearer. But this is my favourite silver shampoo, it keeps all the yellowy tones away from the hair. Um, and also, um, for these extensions, these are different the ones I usually wear. These are just some cheap ones I got off eBay and they were a light blonde colour. And I got away like the yellowy tones because this was shade lightest blonde, so it was quite yellowy. Um, and with this I managed to get the yellowy tones out and it's quite nice platinum blonde colour instead so I did it with this so it's a great silk shampoo and I use it to tone my extensions to match my hair colour this stuff is a lifesaver from having my hair bleached my ends I'm just not very happy so I squirt this on my hands and then rub it through and then just put from my mids to my ends and I make sure I definitely get this on my ends I kind of run it over my hair till the ends feel really really soft um, don't use too much because it can make your hair greasy but this stuff is amazing after I wash my hair every time on damp hair I run it through then I use um, like a heat protector spray blow dry my hair and then when I straighten it my hair is amazing because of this stuff and I've done my hair without it and it's, it's, it's not happy I bought that product almost a year ago and I've still got some left it's really good and it was only £8-ish on Amazon but um, I will put links below where I bought these items so if you like any of these things then you can go buy them yourself so that was hair things, now on to my makeup favourites this is my favourite foundation of all time I did used to use the Clinique Superfit um, foundation but then they discontinued that one my skin without makeup isn't very even and I've got really dark circles and all round it's just better with makeup so that's amazing it's medium to maximum coverage I think this foundation I use in shade neutral which is number five the consistency um, originally when I started using this apparently it's been re-released so it's a bit different but the consistency is feels quite thick but you only need a small amount and this lasts me ages I hardly need to buy any of these in comparisons to powder I literally go through powder I have to buy one every kind of month and a half to two months I just eat powder apparently this L'Oreal concealer is amazing this is the Le Touch Magique perfect match highlighting concealer I got this one actually back as a teenager um, I think it was one of Girls Aloud recommended for dark circles to use a illuminating concealer and then I found this one and I've been using this since I was around 16 so that is seven years I've been using this and in that time the packaging has only actually changed once not sure if that was for the best because it feels like I don't get as much in there anymore it doesn't really last me as long as it used to my last makeup favourite is this Chanel lipstick and I wanted one for ages this is in shade 28 which is romantic I was on a night out with my friend and she had one of these and I was just mesmerised you touch the top and it pops up and that is how you open it it's just simple things that amuse me really it's a really nice red, it's really subtle, I kind of like more subtle reds I've been blonde for about a year and before that when I had brunette hair I love kind of post box bright red lipstick but now I just prefer a more subtle red next is this Topshop holographic nail varnish if you saw my last video you would see this I'm wearing it now and I love it. First time I wore it I did notice it chipped really quickly so from now on I've been putting top coats on the top. Um, I always put a base coat under my nails no matter what just in fear of it might stain my nails that happened once and it looked horrible so ever since then I'm always putting a base clear coat under my nail varnish the nail varnish. I did two to three coats to get a really nice even finish and the final result is lovely I really love the whole pearlescent holographic look of this nail varnish next this is my favourite perfume of all time this is the one I wear every day and it's so lovely it's called Angel and I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the brand because I just don't want to say it wrong so I'm going to cop out and just put the name down below in the description next favourites are still necklaces 
This first one you would have seen if you saw my very first haul I ever did. This is by Regal Rose and it's a crystal quartz necklace and it is so beautiful. Next crystal necklace, this is by Empty Casket and I haven't ever featured this in a YouTube video but I have featured it on my Instagram many times, I've worn this one a lot. This one is the Bloodstone Quartz Necklace. In the light you can really see all the different colours in it, it is really really pretty. Last but not least are my Topshop Chelsea boots and these are amazing, they're so so comfy. The heel is the perfect height, it gives you really nice height but then they are still so comfortable to walk in. That was the end of my favourites from last month video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you've noticed my hair looks a bit different today, these are different extensions and I actually did the pink dip dye myself. If you want to look on my blog I did a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can achieve this look. Please give me your feedback if you like this kind of video and if you'd like to see more. Please comment, like and subscribe and thank you for watching.